me again. Um, look, I know this is hard, but it'll be good for both of us. So my plane leaves tomorrow. You don't want to see me, that's fine. But I still need my stuff back. Okay? So I will see you later. Bye. I am this close to putting together a search party. When was the last time you left the house? Please call me back. Shithead. Dead! Hi, Molly. Babe. You look like garbage. Literally. It was open the whole time? Two fucking weeks? I wasn't sure you were still alive. Well, I am. So... Talk to me. Sam is coming tomorrow to get all his stuff before he flies off to Europe to live his magical new life without me. And honestly, I don't know whose is whose anymore. So I'm literally going through everything we own, trying to figure it out. He's the one leaving, but I'm the one who has to move him out of my life. And I don't know how to do that. Drink your tea. And he seems fine. So I'm not exactly sure if he's feeling sentimental enough to want his ticket from our Toronto trip last year, or if I should just... Drink. I don't know what to do. Well, first we're going to remember that he's the one who decided to leave behind the life you two built and move to fucking Vienna or wherever. So we're not going to worry about his feelings about small pieces of paper, okay? Next, you're going to take a shower. With soap. 
lots of soap. Okay, now we figure out the easy stuff. Nothing's easy. Okay, come on. The bookshelf in your living room? Definitely yours. How can you tell? I haven't seen him read. <laughs> I think a few are his, actually. Well, if you really wanted them. Fine. Why did we stop? This was his favorite tree. The one he fell out of while he was drunk and almost broke his neck? Okay, let's go back inside. Help me out here. These things aren't going to get rid of themselves. I don't want to keep any reminders. Just throw it all away. Oh, okay. So the last two or three years never happened then. Got it. Thanks, Mom. I'm just saying a lot of these things are still yours. Don't need them. No, what you need is a rebound. I'm not gonna let you die without getting dick from someone other than Sam. Do you always have to be so vulgar? But seriously, you can't get rid of almost everything you own just because it reminds you of Sam. Uh, yes I can. I didn't ask for your help anyway. Oh, okay. I forgot. You're doing so well on your own. Oh, fuck off. You know what kills relationships? Things left unsaid. Everything you keep bottled up because maybe you don't want to fight. Or maybe you're too afraid to say them. So I should hold on to useless thingamabobs, but not pointless words. No, no, no. I'm onto something here. Holding on to that ugh, will only damage you. Like Horcrux. Harry Potter? Really? I'm just saying, you could die tomorrow and never get a chance to tell Sam how you really feel. For example, how unfair you think it is that you're always by his side. And the moment that he came out to his parents, he turned to a completely different fucking person and dropped you. But I'm not gonna die tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. And telling him that won't change anything. It's already over. It doesn't matter. It's for you. If you want to be able to move on and be okay again, you've got to tell him everything you never got a chance to. Trust me. It's therapeutic as shit. It's not going to change anything. Darren, I love you, but I'm gonna push you on this. No. Yes. If he wants to get his stuff back, he's got to hear you out first. I'm getting anxious just thinking about this. We'll practice. I don't know, Molly. You're right. We can't do this. Thank you. On empty stomachs, I'm ordering pizza. I'm dying. I can't anymore. It's cool. I think you're ready. Yeah? Yeah. We went to the beach that day. He was in such a bad mood that day. How could he not want this? Did he care that little? Of course he cared. But people change all the time. It sucks ass, but it's life. People don't change that much. I must have done something wrong. No, you spend most of your time sacrificing your needs for what he wanted. That's not fair. No, it isn't. But it's just like how he practiced. He turned his back on his life with you and did what he wanted. Stop. Sam did this. Don't you dare blame yourself for his shitty behavior. You did nothing wrong. Atta boy. Let's get some sleep. What? I'm staying over, dumbass. But you... Do you always carry a change of clothes with you? Maybe. <laughs> I got your back, dude. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, 
don't start crying again. Come on. Let's put on a shitty movie and fall asleep to it. Coming, Molly. Coming. Hi. Hello. What's with the, uh, the bottle? I was just in the middle of soap in my hands. Washing them. With this soap. Okay. So why are you still holding the bottle? Um, proof? Everything ready? In here. Well, well, well. Well. I didn't think this through. Clearly. Nice to see you too, Sam Wise. I told you not to call me that. And I told you not to break his heart. Looks like everyone's breaking through promises lately. Uh... <laughs> As much as I am loving this confrontation, I think... <clears throat> yeah? Forget something? Uh... Do I even want to know? Sam, I... Look, I'm sorry, but my flight is literally... Darren has something to say. Lots of somethings. As a matter of fact... It's... We kind of owe him this, dude. Okay. It's nothing really. Uh, I just... You suck. Hmm. Really mature. No. You really suck. And you know what else? I deserve a lot better. I know that telling your parents you're gay was like this huge, life-changing experience for you. But it's shitty of you to turn around and abandon everyone just to live the life you always wanted. I'm... I was there for you. I have to pee. Hold that thought. I didn't know you felt like that. You stop talking to me. We're talking now. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. Well. I don't like the way you ended it. Okay. Like, I get that this is something you have to do for yourself. But you didn't even give me a say in the matter. And you left all this shit behind. And I didn't know what to do with it. But hey, at least I get to say with that, I could just throw it all away. Or maybe I'll keep everything. Woo! That's my boy! I don't think you should get to dump our relationship and take what I loved about it with you. You don't get to leave so casually. Anything else? I don't know. That's as much as we rehearsed. We were together for three years. Uh, 
I know. I'm sorry. Whatever. Go live your exciting new fantasy life. You know, this was hard for me too. Okay. Finally, I broke out of the cocoon that I had been stuck in my whole life, and I wanted to finally spread my wings, and I wanted to do it Don't. with you, but you said no to me. That's three years of my life, too. Don't. You think this was an easy choice for me to make? He's not giving you shit. Molly, can you let me handle this, please? Yeah, Molly, no offense, but this is none of your business. Uh, yeah, it is. Jaren's my best friend, okay? I'm sorry. I haven't seen you around in a few months. This has nothing He's to do- He's keeping your stuff, Sam Wise. Darren? Um... Do you really think you'll be happy living alone in an unfamiliar place? Only one way to find out, I guess. Sure. Okay. Don't listen to the lesbian. That always works out. It's only gotten you this far. Look. Uh... Sorry for how I ended it. I'm sorry that I hurt you. You were right. You did deserve better. Thanks. We weren't happy anymore. Yeah. I guess not. I think this belongs to you. Thank you. Have a safe flight. Tell Molly I said goodbye. I will. I will always love you. Always. Okay. Get out of here before I actually start crying. Okay. So. I'm proud of you. You wanted me to keep everything. Well, yeah. But this was a close second. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here. You've been in this apartment for too long. Well, I am out of teeth. <laughs>